everybody, my name is Christian Frenet. I'm from Team Chess, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction onto all of the pieces in chess. My previous video was on the files, ranks, diagonals, and squares. Today's video, as I said, is going to be on the pieces. So these are all the pieces, starting with the pawn. The pawn can go two squares on their starting square, which is either the seventh rank if you're black, or the second rank if you're white. After they leave the second or seventh rank, they cannot go two spaces anymore. It's like, you know, a unique deal at McDonald's where if you buy a Burger King, you get uh, an another one free. You can't buy a normal burger and get the Big Mac. It's not how that works. <laughs> but after that, they can only go one space. You can choose to go one or two spaces on the starting square. Also, pawns can take one square diagonally they can capture. Capturing is basically when you take a piece. You land on that piece, so you have it. Next is the rooks. The rooks they can go in any line. They can go up, down, or sideways. So like up, down, sideways, up, like that. Next is the knight. The knight goes in an L shape. The knight is also the only piece that can jump over other pieces. A knight, he moves in an L, two spaces straight, one space to whichever way you're turning. Like one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three. The next piece is the bishop. The bishop can only go diagonally, as far as it wants, but diagonally. The rook can also go as far as it wants, but it's only in a straight line. After the bishops, we have the queen. The queen is the strongest piece on the board, because it's a mixture of the bishop, the rook, and also, it's it's uh, worth more than both of them combined. The only piece it does not replicate is the knight and the pawn. I'm going to be going into an advanced video to go a little bit further in on the pawns because the pawns have a unique thing about them, and the king and the rook. They all have special things about them. And uh, there's two colored bishops. Well, other than just being black and white, there are the dark squared bishops, and there are the light squared bishops. The dark squared bishops, they stay on the dark squares. The light squared bishop stays on the light squares. The reason they're called this is because they are never able to leave their color. If they do, you know you've made an incorrect move. Because they only go diagonally. As a little thing, I want you to try to get this white bishop onto a dark square. Take as many moves as you please. If you found an answer, upload the video into the comments, and I will, and I will look at it. Okay? The king, he can go as far. He, no, sorry, he can go in any direction, but only one square at a time. Like the queen, except can't go as far. The queen can go any direction as far as she wants. The king, he is the most important piece in the game because if he is in danger from another piece, like say he had a pawn here, see uh, see how my king is was vibrating? That means he's in check. He must get out of danger before being able to make any other moves. So if my king is in danger, I cannot like just move my rook. I would have to save my king first. And if your king is in danger to where he cannot get out, that is called checkmate. So that's a brief little review, and I will go into more depth into an advanced lesson. An advanced lesson about the pieces and what kind of tricks they have. Next video is going to be on some basic tactics. Okay. Christian from Teen Chess, signing off.